Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impressions and let's play review of a game called Squad. I'm going to play the game for an hour or two. I'm going to give you my running commentary throughout and I'm going to tell you what I think is good and bad about the game. If you are in a hurry, you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so where I will give you my uh compacted uh quick concise opinion on the entire game and whether or not it's worth 50 dollars which is the asking price otherwise you can just stay tuned and i will be giving you my running commentary while playing the game so um yeah squad has been out since i think 2020 so it's been out for about two years let's jump into the tutorial over here while i talk so obviously we want to do the tutorial i heard that this game is not like your standard uh type of uh i guess i can say open world uh battle royale type game it is a battle royale type game uh so kind of similar like battlefield or call of duty um but um it's a little bit more uh tough i guess i can say a little bit more realistic your compass at the bottom of your display is essential to figuring out which way you're going orders from your squad and fire team leaders will also appear here now head northwest towards the obstacle course Yep, I already see that. So you get a squad leader which will order you around. And uh, you have to, well, you don't have to listen to the squad leader, but obviously the squad leader hopefully will know what they're doing. And so it is usually recommended to uh, listen to them okay go crouch yeah I, I understand that so you can crouch and you can prone as well so I understand that but how do I get over here Uh, double tap and jump okay so you double tap jump would have been cool if they said that before balance yourself on those beams and get to the other side if you fall you got to start again okay well this is really stupid this is not the type of tutorial that I'm really interested in I'm more interested in one that shows you the mechanics of the game. This next evolution will get you used to what it's like to be under fire. You will be stressed and this is a Enemy live fire contact. exercise. Keep your head down and keep moving. Keep your head down and keep moving. That is indeed what I am doing. This game also has a lot of uh, people who use their mic to communicate. Communication is apparently important in this game as well. I am absolutely astonished you're not dead. Get yourself geared up and get to the next station. Okay, so you hold the right click. Bandage yourself. But I don't have any field dressings. Your next period of instruction will be about field dressings. The standard issue field dressing is critical for stopping all kinds of bleeding and trauma. Not only can you use it on yourself, but to also stabilize other wounds in the field, as you will see in the next station. Use the field dressing on a seemingly incapacitated man on the ground. Thanks. Welcome to my main base. There's a number of things you can do here, from weapons familiarization to learning about how you can communicate with your... This is an example of some of the ways you can be deployed in the field. The rally point is only for you and your squad, 
while the big bunker-looking structure is a HAB. HABs are meant for your entire team and are found only on forward operating bases or FOBs. In both circumstances, you will need to rearm your weapons from any nearby sources before moving out. Okay. Well, I know how to shoot. I mean, I don't really need this is your standard issue rifle. It may come in different any training with this. But it does what any good infantry weapon does best. Suppress and kill the enemy. All riflemen and support roles carry this as their primary weapon. The best way for you to shoot is in single shots. Take a moment between each shot and make sure you're still on target. So you get automatic. Then you get single. And you can also press left shift to steady while aiming. Which gives you a little bit more of a zoom. I don't know for how long you can steady like that. And you can't reload while looking closely like that either. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, then you get different weapons. Sniper rifle. Increase range with mouse up, mouse down. That's fine. So, how do I zoom in? Uh, can't you zoom, zoom in at all? Toggle bipod. Let's use the bipod. Scroll mouse up and down. Nothing is happening. While, uh, while sight ranging. Okay. Nope, that doesn't work either. Increase ranging. Oh, that increases the ranging. Okay. So let's put it at 200 meters, which is that over there. And then let's try to headshot that guy. Okay, we did hit him, but we don't see if it's a headshot or not. Okay, that was clearly a headshot, I believe. Okay, so yeah, that's not so bad. It's not so, I guess I can say, punishing, you know. That's pretty understandable. Sidearms, that's fine. Well, you can hit at 100 meters. I've actually shot real guns. And it's not super difficult to shoot up to 100 meters with a pistol. All roles are issued with these, either in the fragmentation or smoke variety for concealment. Okay, so how do you throw... Okay, so right click is throwing underhand, left click is throwing overhand. The furthest you can throw underhand is about 20 meters. And the furthest you can throw overhand is about 50. Okay, that's fine. Your squad carry a grenade launcher slung under their primary weapon. These fire 40 millimeter grenades and are highly effective against infantry in the open and light vehicles. Just remember the grenades need a few meters arm, so you can't fire these at point blank range. So what, do you only have one? Oh no, you do have more. Okay, but how do you use your normal shooting then? How do you switch to your normal shooting? Like I know I have a normal gun and it has a thing at the bottom, but how do you switch? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, they don't say anything about switching. So that's not useful. I want to know how to switch. They don't say anything about switching. Like I'm pressing the middle mouse button, which normally changes the firing mode, but it does not change the thing at all. And the game does not have automatic reload either. So I'm pressing left click right now. Nothing is happening. You have to press R in order to reload, which I'm not a fan of. Damage and destroy enemy vehicles. 
The rockets need a bit of distance to arm, so avoid firing these at close range. The launcher also fires a deadly back blast, so make sure your rear is clear before firing. Okay, pretty standard. Before you move out, you need to pick up your Rolf kit. Typically, you will automatically deploy into the battle with your loadout already equipped, but you can also change it while in the field from ammo crates such as these, or from vehicles if they have enough ammo on board. So it would be fantastic if you, if they told you what the different scopes is. You can clearly see this one and this one has different scopes. I'm assuming this one is a more long range one, even though this one has binoculars, this one does not have binoculars. And this is an M4 with an M150. This is an M4A1 with the M68. I don't know what that means. I know it's a different gun, but I'm not sure what the M68 is. Is it the grenades or something like that? Okay, so this scope is pretty good at uh, magnification. Let's see the other one. Yeah, this one is definitely not as good, so uh, I would like to go for a longer range uh, thing. Okay, motor pool. Yeah, yeah, I already picked up my thing. Okay, overlapping uh, audio. Who doesn't love overlapping audio? Okay, why can't I interact with any of these? What if I don't want to load the truck? What if I just want to get into those things? What if I already know how to load the truck? That's stupid. Load ammo to vehicle. Okay, and then construction. You see, stuff like this is useful. That's the useful kind of stuff. Start engine. Wow, you actually have to hold E in order to start the engine. And then you need to release the handbrake. That's really idiotic. Like, that's unnecessary, you know. I don't mind the realisticness of the bullet drop and the, the bleeding that you get from certain injuries and um, the fact that you have to press R to reload. I don't mind that. But having bullshit in the game like... A handbrake that you have to press space to release or engage for a couple of seconds and you have to start the engine of the truck like that's stupid honestly now I have to turn the engine off again and then I have to get out Again, by holding F for a couple of seconds, that's really unnecessary, honestly. And I have to unload the truck. Why? Unload. Your squad leader has put down the stakes for where the new hab is going to go. Get your shovel out and build it up, soldier. Six to select a building, so you even have building in the game. I wonder how that will work in the game. I wonder what you use um, the 
buildings for? Like, can you build the bunker? Can you build Good work there, Warrior. what, you know? Hopefully this will hold up better than that last one. We set up a mock scenario where you will need to execute the technique of fire maneuver to advance on the enemy. Suppress the enemy machine gun positions and use the lull in their fire to advance. Why am I, like, so, um, bloody jittery? Like, look at that, I'm crouched, and it's still incredibly jittery. Like, I'm holding shift in order to stabilize, and it's still incredibly jittery. Look at that BS, like there's, <laughs> there's no way how you can shoot that. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Can I crawl? Am I supposed to crawl? Will I get shot? Let's try that. Okay, apparently crawling is working. And then where am I supposed to go then? They may be firing rubber bullets, but they hurt. If you get hit, they'll start the exercise again from the half you just built. Now get your ass in gear. Okay, while well it's working. Can I fire and maneuver? There's two people. There's two things. Okay, I bossed this one. Damn, the reload takes long in this game. Okay, so what's going on over there? Oh, there's a dude. Once you get closer to the target building, you'll see another squad dressed up as the enemy. They will open fire if they see you. So make sure you take them down before they smoke your ass. Get through that freaking door. Right if you got a grenade, it would behoove you to use it now. Uh, how do I select my grenade again? BDG contact! Um, grenade. They didn't even tell me how to equip a grenade. Oh, wait, there we go. Holy tits. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the problem with it not showing you uh, where you throw it. Like a lot of games will have a little stream kind of a thing that like an arch, a throwing arch that shows you where you're going to throw it. This game uh, does not have that. So that's uh, going to be an issue. Okay, I will heal in just a second. I don't know from where they shot me, because I I got the drop on those two guys, but anyway. Apparently I got shot. Ready. 
I don't have another uh, grenade, unfortunately. Clear the building all the way to the roof. Make sure you get every last one of them. I don't know where my health is. I don't think this game indicates health. Okay, so the game also has like a uh, uh, capture the point or uh, king of the hill type We're taking this thing. And freaking tastic. Now let's get to the good stuff. Our last exercise here is to destroy the enemy's fob radio located behind the target building. Okay, where's the explosive? Uh, use the ghost image, they cover... Oh, the fuse is 30 seconds, okay. Okay, that's fine. You've taken down the enemy fob. Holy One crap, how do you manage to get your pants on in the morning? There are alternative means of taking down enemy fobs such as a shovel, but explosives tend to be the most effective. Thinking about boots like you in charge of C4 is what keeps me up at night, but you somehow managed not to blow yourself up. Well, that's good, I guess. Well, I don't know, I died. There are so many aspects of the battlefield that only experience can teach you. So learn from your buddies and trust your squad leaders. If you need more practice on a particular weapon system or vehicle, the Jensen's range facility is available at any time. Good luck out there, soldier. Okay, I guess that's that. So, yeah, overall... Pretty damn standard uh, as far as uh, military shooters go. Um, it's just really stupid that you have to do unnecessary bullcrap like the handbrake. I mean, that's idiotic. Starting the engine, that's idiotic. Um, but okay. Uh, server browser, let's have a look. This is another thing that I'm not a fan of. The game uses uh, a server system instead of something like uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield where they just throw you into a server, you know, and like even Fortnite, they just throw you into a server. When there's enough people in the server, the game starts. With this, like how will it work if I, for instance, jump into a server where there's only three people or five people how will that work you know um i don't know that's uh questionable the ping on all of these is very high it seems this one is the only south african server and of course i'm located in south africa so this is the only server where I would get a, a, a mildly okay uh, latency. Anything above 100 in a military shooter like this is uh, pretty rough, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it seems this is literally the only South African server. By the way, there's 50 million people in South Africa, so... <laughs> 50 million uh, people, one server, that math doesn't exactly uh, check out, to be honest. But uh, anyway, let's see, custom browser, what does that do? What's the difference between custom browser and server browser? So, game mode, AIS, I have no idea what that is, or AIS, I have no idea what that is. Troopers have no idea what that is. Like, they should at least bloody tell you, like, what's what the game modes are, you know? They don't tell you, I'm hovering over it, they don't tell you at all. 
So as a new player, you have absolutely no idea what those um, things actually are. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to select a random, a random server that's relatively full, I guess. Game mode seed. I have no idea what that is. Invasion doesn't tell you what that is. Like really, the, the game is not new player friendly at all. Um, I want to take invasion. Well, even though a lot of people are playing Seed. Seed seems like an incredibly popular game mode. That's 15 versus 15, basically. It might be difficult to actually see any action while we're on the field. Let's try to take this one, I guess. It says that it's English, so I guess we can take that one. That should be fine, blah blah blah. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, I mean a queue. Okay, no, we, that one is full then, I guess. Um, which one isn't full? I think all of these are full. That plus 10, I believe, shows that it's full. We can take this one, even though it's German. My German is nicht sehr gut. Ich spreche keine German, aber my German is nicht sehr gut. So uh, I might struggle a little bit with the German. Hopefully they don't talk too much German. I'll just speak back to them in English. All Germans understand English, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, I think, how many people are there in this one? 80? I think it was around 80 or 90. So we should be able to get a good amount of uh, action in this one. Obviously, I want to show you guys and I want to experience the action a little bit, you know. Um, there's nothing uh, worse than playing one of these games like uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield. Uh, Fortnite in the modes where you do not respawn and uh, you can sometimes even PUBG you can sometimes land and then you um, don't uh, you see there the, it says the rules are German only so this will not uh, as soon as I speak English they're gonna probably kick me oh no wait they say that uh, um, I can do English. So the rules, no locked one-man squads except logistics. Blah, blah, blah. Do not neglect the objective. Uh, must have a microphone. Only experienced players should lead a squad. Uh, perform a mic check. Do not tolerate, tolerate streamers. Fortunately, I do not fall under that cat category. Vehicles with needed crew kits must occupy by at least two men. Uh, da -da -da. No trolling, that's good. <laughs> Your nickname must be pronounceable okay that's totally fine uh click to join so 45 players 45 players i'm not sure which one is best game mode random advanced advanced and secure okay so that's what r a a s means 
capture points, burn points, win by draining enemy tickets. Okay. Uh, let's go with the Russians. Why not? Then I can choose my um, my class. It requires a squad. Blah blah blah. Additional auto rifleman is unlocked for every three squad members, capping at two. One unlocked for a squad of three. So can I actually choose these? Nope, I can't choose these. I'm clicking on them and I can't take them. So literally the only one that I can take is Rifleman right now. And then I guess I just choose wherever squad. Let's join uh, this squad, maybe. Oh, okay. So now I can actually choose different staff. I don't know, let's just go with a normal rifleman, I guess. Pilot, wow, you can even fly in the game. Even though I'm definitely not going to do that. So, the red ones, I'm red, right? Correct? I don't know where I'm supposed to spawn. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of action over here. I don't know. Let's spawn over here, I guess. Okay, they are speaking German. Oh, this isn't the gun that I selected. Okay, so where are they coming from? Is that a friend? Okay. Okay, es gehen jetzt äh, genug Leute in die Verteidigung, deswegen bleiben wir trotzdem jetzt im Angriff. I have no idea where it, where they ich Süd nach Süden. Vorsicht. want me to go. Südosten mindestens zwei direkt an der Fop. Ja, sind genau auf meiner Reiche zwei Stück. Ihr könnt gerne Granaten hier hinschmeißen. I don't think I killed him. Ganz vergessen, dass ich ein Fireteam lead habe. Oh, ich wurde in der FOB gekillt. Holy crap! What BS is that? Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna give up, correct? Or not? Yes. So yeah, this is with, without a scope. I need a scope. I did select the scope. There we go. Without a scope, it's really difficult. Okay. That's fine. And then select spawn. I don't know which one. Okay, so that's that one there. That's that one there at the top. Where's that one? Yeah, ich habe gerade nachgefragt, ob jemand hier. I don't see where. Where that other one is. Oh, that's that one there. Okay. Let's spawn over here. Gut, dann gehen wir auch in die Verteidigung erstmal. Das macht keinen Sinn sonst. Okay. Und versuchen den Logi zu retten unten an der Hub und eine neue aufbauen. Wir haben keine Hub mehr oben. Ja, gute Idee. Oh, 
how does this work? Yeah, it's not uh, very intuitive. You need to probably do range finding and stuff like that in order to get that done. I have to say, this game is like incredibly, like, how do you even see where the people are? There's no indicators. Who the hell was that? There's no indicators. Uh, you, the only way you can really see is with your map, if you open your map up. Otherwise, then that, like, you need to directly point to an enemy that, in order to see if they're friendly or not. Like that guy just there, I had to directly point at him before it showed um, that he was friendly. Like before that, it doesn't show friendly or nothing like that. Yeah, um, is that in Boston? No, 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 we're going to main farm first. No, we have to supply run now. Okay, kannst du, kannst du nicht ähm, alleine ähm, Supply holen und dann, wenn du da wieder bist, dann ähm, Klar. komm ich zu dir. Genau. Ja, bei Batscher sind auch noch 1000 Baupunkte, könnten wir versuchen, die abzuräumen. Ja, wenn du das schaffst. I'm hearing a lot of shooting from here. Ich meine, wir fahren. Ah, over there, there's a lot of action. I wish I had a sniper rifle. Yeah, there's no way how I can shoot that far. Is that a friendly place or a not a friendly place? Genau, passt, glaube ich. Squad 2 hat die Punkte geholt. Okay, so I killed that dude. Ja, haben den gleichen Plan nice. gehabt, anscheinend. Ja. Oh, oh, oh. Logi ist nicht mehr im Ja. Nein. Hey, I did hit him, but uh, unfortunately. I don't think I will be able to be resurrected. Yeah, this game is like incredibly difficult because it doesn't show you like at all uh, range, like um, um, you literally have to point to an enemy to see if it's an enemy. like. It's a little bit crazy, like, I understand that it's not super realistic to have a nameplate above an enemy or a friendly dude. It's not super realistic to see an, a, a, a nameplate above someone, you know, but it's crazy not having it because... Um, Like, did I just kill that dude or not? Oh. Um, I understand it's not super realistic, but holy crap. Like, it's incredibly difficult to determine where people are coming from. And if they're friendly or not, without having that. Like, seriously. Isn't there a, uh, a, a window of some kind that I can use? Sie sind sogar schon auf der Verteidigungsflagge Akim Central. Ich glaube direkt und auch wenn man das baut. Schießen Panzer rein. Ich versuch's. 
like I don't know at all where they're gonna come from nothing like that the game gives you no information Spawn bitte mal bei, bei der Verteidigung. Wir haben K435. Wir haben einen Feind hab stehen. Mag ich jemanden unterstützen, die rauszunehmen? Jo, wo bist du? Ah. I'm hearing voices. Is it enemy die voices? Die sind, äh, könnt gerne mal einen Angriff versuchen. Like that guy there, is he a, an enemy? No, he's not. Like you see, that's a really ridiculous. Having to point towards someone. It looks like an enemy because he's not green or blue. But until you point to him, you don't know if it's an enemy or not. I just think that's a really crazy, you know, like in a team-based shooter. If it was free for all, then it wouldn't matter, you know? But in a team-based shooter, that's incredibly um difficult. Like the amount of times that you're gonna team kill someone accidentally because like as soon as you see someone you have to react you know and like you're often going to shoot teammates because um it doesn't show um anything until you actually directly aim at them i just think like i wish there was a mode to allow you just to have like that for instance to constantly have the name of your teammates over their their bodies you know that way you can 100 percent accurately determine is it a teammate is it not a teammate i just saw some movement there but it's a friendly like i just think it's a little bit uh you know in a squad shooter it's a little bit um crazy to not have that you know like i mean i'm sure you guys have played either call of duty or battlefield and in call of duty or battlefield it shows you the names you know it shows the names of the uh uh the teammates so you know 100 percent whether or not um there's uh enemy nearby or not i'll use that I'm hearing shooting. It's definitely oh. Hey, enemy, enemy. Okay, I think I got him. That poor guy was shot in the back. Yes, the body is gone now. You see, like, it's super difficult to determine who is friendly, who is not friendly. Uh, I just want to resupply. Like, even this, they make convoluted. Like, why can't they just um, allow you to resupply infinitely, you know? Das Ganze ist irgendwie auf schockierende Weise ganz schnell gekippt. Ja. Ich kam auch erst spät rein und dann... Ja. Alles gut. The game is lagging a little bit. Ja. Ich kann auch kein Kommando komischerweise. Also. True. Wenn wir jetzt Glück haben, dann können wir noch bei, äh, bei der Angriffsfrage noch was kriegen. You need to have the eyes of a bloody hawk in this game. In order to pick out the enemies from um, 
where they're coming from, you know, it's really not super easy. Am I actually damaged or not? I don't even realize that I'm damaged. I'm hearing some shooting over towards the base. Are there people there? Yes, it looks like there's people there still, so they should be able to retake it. Let's go towards the left rather. I don't want to run out in the open like that. Like even the the uh, uh, commands from the commander, the the field commander or the squad commander, whatever you want to call it, they don't show up on my map. There's a dude. Okay, no, that's a friendly guy. They don't show up on my map. Like the only thing that's showing up is that over there, 200 meters that way. That's the only thing that's showing up. Okay, there's a bunch of enemies that way. Like, I, I totally get the appeal of a realistic game, you know? Like I, like I said, I don't mind the realisticness of the gun shooting. I don't mind the realisticness of having magazines. If you haven't shot out the entire magazine... Okay, apparently we lost. Uh, if you haven't shot out the entire magazine, then the magazine still has bullets left in it. You know? Uh, where are we? Okay, so I have three kills, two deaths. Right? Killed in action. Enemies killed. Holy shit, my team sucked. One and four, one and seven, zero and four. Holy crap, they sucked. Yeah, unfortunately, like I was the best guy on my team, and this is the first time that I'm playing. I have three kills, two deaths. All of the other bloody guys have zero for four, one for four, one, uh, zero for seven. That's a, an, an appalling uh, kill death ratio, like seriously. Okay, I'm pressing exit and all of that. I nothing is happening so uh, i also don't like the fact that you immediately get yeeted into the next map um without any confirmation anything like that i'm not a fan of that at all um but yeah like i say i i get the the realistic gameplay the realistic shooting uh the vehicle controls that's realistic uh, loading the the tanks loading the trucks with building materials and ammo 
I get that as well. Um, it's just the fact that in a squad-based shooter, a, a battle royale squad-based game, you cannot see um, the nameplates. That's really bad. Like, that's like i honestly don't understand how they can expect to have a squad based game or even a team based game and not show you who is friendly and who is an enemy you have to automatically assume everyone is an enemy and that means that you're gonna kill many friendly people um and that's just not not good even though i've fortunately managed to not kill any friendly people in that previous game um it still is going to happen i i played very very timidly in that previous game because i'm obviously finding my feet and all of that kind of stuff still but um i definitely think that um the the entire team based squad based uh, game mechanic does not at all benefit from um the fact that you can't at all um see who is friendly and who is um enemy it's really not um not good honestly like look at that that guy right there he doesn't have a nameplate un until you look at him so like if if this was a real game like a real game of call of duty or a real game of um battlefield then you would immediately like go and shoot 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 you know like you would immediately snap to them shoot whereas in this game you can't do that you first have to hover over them and then oh that guy's friendly Next guy, oh, that guy is friendly. Like, it's just really not, uh, not good. How do I get in? Was auch immer das für ein Fahrzeug ist, ist mir egal. Ne, da ist wohl nur der kleine Fahrer. I don't want to drive. Ah ja, verstanden. Uh, also wir werden auf Move machen. Okay, there we go. Dann werden wir eine Hub hochziehen. Like. Like I say, it's just that uh, so I, I, I think the game would have been much better if you could actually see enemies and see teammates. You don't even need to, to show who is the enemies. You just need to show at all times who is the friendly players. That's all. Like, I don't mind not being able to see who is the enemies but i do mind not being able to see who is the uh, friendly players that's really the biggest issue honestly otherwise than that you know i don't mind the realisticness the bleeding damage that you take you have to strap your injury or bind your injury in order to regain health again it doesn't automatically gain um, the magazine system where you have to shoot out an entire magazine before that magazine is discarded. If you shoot two bullets from one magazine and you reload, then it simply switches out the magazine. So that magazine with two bullets less gets put on your body still and then you just put in a different magazine. I'm fine with that, you know, it's a little bit of a schlep, but I'm fine with that uh, realisticness. That's totally fine. Where are we heading? I'm assuming, yeah, we have that yellow one over there to the left. Um, I'm fine with that distance throwing of the, the grenade that's realistic you know you won't really be able to throw anything past 50 meters uh, that easily so that's fine you know 
I'm, I'm totally fine with everything in the game except the fact that you cannot see who the enemies are or who your teammates are actually that's really like such a big issue honestly that it would make me not play the game like seriously like if you are constantly having to worry about team killing your teammates um that really is an issue you know that adds an an unnecessary amount of uh, uh obtuseness and stress to the game that you don't need you know like it, it's just unnecessary is there some kind of a high point where I can go stand, maybe? Yo. Okay, so I have, I have the high zooming scope. LKW ans Haus. You see, like, that guy looks like an enemy until you, you point to him. Like, it's really a stupid mechanic, honestly. It's really stupid. And you can't even crouch and shoot still. Like that's also stupid. When you move, you you raise a little bit, but until you you if you stop, you go down again. So you can't crouch at all inside these buildings and still shoot out the uh, windows. So you have to stand. What are we shooting at? Like, you can't even issue markers, like in Battlefield and Call of Duty and, and Fortnite. You can issue a marker at a, a certain location. This game, you can't do that. So I guess I'm just going to defend this place. The enemy should come sometime. There's a red marker over there on the map, but I'm, I'm not sure what that means. Ich habe noch eine Ammo Crate gesetzt, ist sie auch schon oben. Sobald Ammo Crate steht, rücken wir vor auf Move Mark. Oder sichern den Anmarschweg für den Logi. Ammo Box steht. Top. Dann auf geht's zum Movement. Über die komische Eisenbahnbrücke. Die These guys are saying top and stuff like that. Which I'm sure means something, but I, I don't know where top is, you know. They keep saying top to obviously say a location. And that sounds like a tank. Over there somewhere. Yeah, you can see there, it's just a little bit south of our location. Like right now, I don't know if there's any teammates nearby. Like, am I the only person defending this place or not? Look at that, there's one guy here. And I have to use my map in order to determine if I'm alone or not. I just think it's really stupid in a team-based game. The fact that you can't see your surroundings, you can't see who is in your area, you know, who is in your squad even. I mean, the name of the game is squad, and yet you can't see who is in your squad. I just find that hilarious. It's really not conducive to the uh, entire theme of the game. You're supposed to work together as a squad and yet you can't see who is in your squad. I'm just checking the roads, making sure that there's not anyone 
coming in. Ja, für alle, ich habe mal eine Rally gesetzt. I don't even know what the name of this place is. Like middle? I don't know. There's no names on the map either. So like äh, Logi noch nicht zum Movemark fahren, sondern ja, vorher beim Rally halten. Ich hab hier doch gerade The game is just really not. Ja, ihr fährt irgendwas wie Logi. Okay. Not very user friendly. If there were names on the maps, like the middle or. Ah, oh, there we go. You see, like at the bottom right, it says Monastery. And then at the bottom right it says Kirchhoff Central, but this middle one where I am right now, I don't see any names at all. Oh, someone is shooting here. Was that a friendly guy? There's only one friendly guy nearby. That's a friend. Like, if I can just get the name. Then I could tell them if there were people nearby, but I, I don't even see the name. That's really ridiculous. So if if I see people now, how do I tell them where I am? Yeah, uh, absicht contact. Ich überquere die Straße. Schutz. The game is also jittery. Like just now, I had a. Minus I had like a jitter hitching type event. So the game is not supposed to be like that. The game isn't supposed to jitter. There's definitely someone here, but I don't know how how to tell my squad. Like, what do I say? There's someone in middle. That's not gonna fucking help. Can schon über die Brücke, aber an dem Rally halten. Ja, verstanden. Wir brauchen dich nämlich als Artiller, um den Friend Logi rauszunehmen. I'm hearing shooting not too far away from me, and I did definitely hear shooting right here by me, so there are people in the area, the question is just, I need to see them. It's boring just sitting here and defending, but that's what you have to do in these types of games, you need to stop people from taking your, your locations, and... Um, you have to have people defending them, otherwise it just takes one enemy to come capture this entire location, if it has no defense, you know? So that's sometimes uh, what you have to do. Uh, ein, ein Restaurant beim Turm noch, noch 1036. 
There's some enemies over there, way over there. I'm still the only dude in this entire location. You can see there's two tanks just to the bottom, to the to the south. Uh, ich habe den Marksman rausgenommen. Existiert der Logi noch? Der Logi existiert noch. Den bitte rausnehmen. There's people in the middle. Where I am. Alten Squad steht um in Dom noch potenziell uh, Gefahr. Where are they now? Im Turm, Frage. Ein Kontakt im Turm. Ja, verstanden. Like there was a, a car. I'm not seeing the car now. So, wer beim Logi die Reifen zerschießen? Nee, den Logi komplett rausnehmen. Das kostet die Tickets, das ist gut so. I did tell them over voice. So they should be aware. Haben wir schon ein ganzes Gut aufgeraucht, also kann man auch noch den Logi von den rausnehmen. Uh, BMP steht bei meinen Minen, macht meine Minen gerade weg. Und dann an der Brücke. MBT kommt auch. Monastery. Ja, dann kannst du das ja mal markieren. That's that place there at the bottom right. Minus eins auf meiner Position. There's a tank in middle. Ansonsten Combat NG uh, kannst du ja aussprengen, richtig? There's a tank just over there. Ja, sorry, ja, also können sie nicht mehr nutzen. Dann kriegen wir erstmal keinen neuen dafür. Äh, kann es sein, dass der Feind uns ein Lodge hier hat? Irgendwas hat irgendwas auf uns geschossen. Ja, erkannt, das sah aus wie BTR oder sowas. Feindfahrzeug auf Straße. Ja, unser Logi ist auch weg übrigens. Und Yuri, just over there. Ja, markier Feindfahrzeug. Fahrzeug ist Richtung ist Südosten unterwegs. You see there at the top, the guy said, sorry, team kill. That is the problem that I'm talking about. You're going to do so many team kills in this game. Because it's really, the game is against you. The game makes it so difficult to actually determine who is friendly, who is enemy. Like, the amount of team kills that you're going to do is crazy in this game. And it's just unnecessary. Like I, I don't understand why the game is designed that way. Hey, we're going to do Central uh, in an attack. So, verstanden? I'm amazed that I haven't seen a single person come up here yet. Like I've seen a tank, I've seen a car driving past, I've heard shooting, and yet nobody, I haven't actually seen any single person. I've seen a tank, I've seen a car, and I've heard shooting so far. So there has been action, I've just unfortunately missed so much of it, but I definitely have already 
uh, at least contributed something because we are still holding this place and as soon as people uh, enter this place and there isn't someone of the opposing team here then they will start capturing the place so um, the fact that we still have the place is definitely due to the fact that i've been standing here the whole time otherwise it would have been captured when the the tank came past and when the the other car came past as well the other vehicle I wish you could put down like a claymore mine or something like that, you know, like in uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff like that. You can put down claymores and traps and uh, laser mines and stuff like that. And um, in this game, you can't, unfortunately. So it's a re really easy to get backstabbed in this game because you can't cover your uh, entrance or exit points to a building. Klingt nach was Größerem. Äh, Feind hat bei euch. Alle in Deckung. So, verstanden. There's a boat over there. Fahrzeug bewegt sich Richtung West, im Westen auf die Straße. Like, I really don't understand why that place at the bottom has a name uh, and the uh, Cherkov yeah, Central no. has a name, that's but this place over here doesn't have a name. Like, it doesn't make sense. What's the reasoning? Even seven. You see that place over there? Seven. So, if I hear anything, then I can say, okay, seven, you know, but this bloody place here doesn't have a name. Really irritating. Kurze Frage, kann ich mit dem Light MG der BTR die Reifen zerschießen? Oh, ich glaube sogar fast nicht. Ich <lacht> glaube, probier ich die studieren. <lacht> Let me quickly check the controls, just to make 100% sure that there's not a way to. Okay, Look at the map. Zoom. Ja, verstanden. Ich habe den Befürcht die Befürchtung, dass er wieder die, die Route umdreht wie vorher. There's, there's a tank at my location. Top left. You see, it's going there to the to the main base, but I I don't know how to call that out. I just quickly check the controls again. Uh, toggle compass view view. Also an alle versuchen jetzt fernab der Straße querfeld einzulaufen, so dass wir nicht wieder auf das Feinfahrzeug okay. Voice. So verstanden. G. G und B. Haben wir hier irgendeinen Schützen mit einem Ammo Back bei? G und B. And U. So U uh, removes. Well, it changes the location of that. Otherwise, in that, there's nothing. You can't place a, a, a thing like in Fortnite, Battlefield, all of that. You can mark a location. Even in Apex Legends, you can like mark a location. You can, you can, uh, I think, you press the middle mouse button in order to show an enemy, if you see an enemy. In this game you can't do anything like that. Which is... 
crazy. Like it's it's supposed to be a a tactical thing, a tactical game, and yet you have so few tactical options. You have no tactical options, in fact, unless you're the squad leader or the map commander, whatever. You can't even put things on the map. Like you can't even put notifications on the map. Find Heli abgestürzt. Der ist unmittelbar close bei mir. Wer hat eine Nate auf meine Position werfen, dann sollte es den auch zerlegen. Negativ, negativ. Äh, ein Medic ist neben dir. Ja, sehe ich auch. Jetzt nicht mehr. Yes. I'm still the only person in this area. There's a bunch of tanks there to the top, top right. You can see them, there are two tanks. So far it looks like we are losing. I can't even see how many tickets the opponents have left. I can just see our tickets, which is 167. Point. Is that a friendly? No, it's not. Aber der Schütze springt gerade bei von uns gesetzter Vorprom. Like really, the fact that you have to check your map every now and then just to see if a person is friendly or not. Like that helicopter. Like it's really ridiculous. You should know immediately if it's a friendly or not. I've been defending this place good, you know, two tanks has been through here, a vehicle has been through here, at least one foot uh, infantry has been through here, and we're still holding this place. Infanterie tut Infanterie Dinge. But it's just so boring. Just sitting here. Und das zu Fuß. Okay, there's another vehicle here now. There's a tank at my position. Top left. Mir doch egal. Let's see if he turns around. Geil, ne? Im Namen alleine steht schon uh, German, also Deutsch, und selbst die Hälfte von den Squad Leads spricht Englisch. Macht gar keinen Sinn. Mein Deutsch ist nicht sehr gut. Auch das ist mir egal. Ich bin ein Südafrikaner. Dafür kann ich ja nichts. I'm just telling the guy that my, ink, my uh, German is not, not very good because he uh, said that I must speak German. Okay, that's the tank over there. I'm hearing some normal infantry shooting over in this direction. And we still have this place, so it's good. Why does it say that there's a tank right here? On my map it shows tank right here. I'm 
maybe it's the squad leader or someone who placed a uh, marker. I'm not sure even how the marker system works. You won't really know until you actually are the squad leader and see what the squad leader can put down. I just still think it's stupid that you can't put down any markers or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna go out and uh, fight a little bit. I know that I'm my just sitting here is boring. Uh, even though it's useful, I've, we've held that place and we would not have held, held that place if uh, I hadn't been sitting there. Um, but um, it's boring for the purposes of the video. We need to actually get into a little bit of uh, combat and stuff like that. So let's go out and see what we can do. Fahrzeug fährt Richtung Norden. There's tanks fighting over there. I won't be able to do much against the tank. I just have one explosive and one grenade, I believe. Fährt Richtung Süden weiter, Süd, Süd, Südost. These people know the names exactly. They say Humdian's house and stuff like that. They know the no names exactly, but the names don't show up on the bloody map. So, like, it's really stupid. That's another thing, in addition to the fact that the game doesn't show you the names of your teammates. It also doesn't show you the names of the bloody places. It only shows you some names, like Monastery. But then it it doesn't show you the rest of the names. Which I just don't understand. Aber have contact, sonst würde ich rauslaufen, Medic Sachen machen. Okay, so that's a friendly dude. Ja, probier dein Glück. There was shooting over here, but I don't see anyone now. Ich habe hier das Beinradio. Auf meiner Pose. Abschaufeln. We are actually controlling all four of the points currently. Tag. So we should win actually. Tag südlich. In Stärke. Because we literally control all four places. Ja, gerade nicht, weil ich das Fahrzeug rausnehmen will. I'm assuming these are the only four places, I think. Well, there's a bunch of water between me, so I can't really go over in that direction, even though there's ja, combat over there. I can't really go over there. Unless I plan on doing a lot of swimming. What's that? Is it normal shooting or shooting with a automatic uh, tank? You actually get the automatic uh, APC tank that has a 50 cal on it and stuff like that. It sounds like that. So yeah guys, I mean, honestly, um, I can pretty much like render my decision on the game. Um, this game like, is this a friendly? Oh, yeah, that's a friendly. Uh, this game I think would have been so much better if you could just see who your squad mates are. That's the first major issue, as you've seen multiple times now already. People saying in the chat at the top left, sorry for team kill, because it happens a lot. Like you are going to shoot your own teammates a lot. 
because you can't see who is a teammate or an enemy uh, very easily. You literally need, need to point at the teammate and then hold it there for a couple of seconds until the green or blue pops up. If it's green, that means they're in your squad. If it's blue, that means they're a teammate and not in your squad. And then obviously, if it doesn't show green or blue, then you're open to actually open fire on them, you know? And I just think that's really ridiculous in a, a team-based, squad-based uh, shooter. That's honestly the biggest problem by far. Uh, secondly, the, the obtuseness of the uh, map system. The fact that you can't see names and you also can't see... Um, you can't place any map markers. You can't like in apex legends or fortnite or anything like that um what the hell is this an alle neueinstieg bei kilo 12 by monastery you can't place any uh, markers um that's another really bad thing like in in uh, Fortnite and those other games, you can, like, even Fortnite has more tacticalness than this game. Like, seriously. When Fortnite has more tacticalness than your supposedly tactical shooter, tactical squad based shooter, then you should really uh, yeah. re evaluate what your game uh, is actually. Because, like, really. In Fortnite, you can mark mark areas on the map. You know, you can you can mark a location on the map from the map, or you can just look at the place and press your middle mouse button, and that will um, uh, mark the location as well. You can mark enemies in Fortnite and all of that. You can mark loot locations, anything like that. So really the fact that um you cannot do that in this game is honestly pathetic like seriously it's it's hilarious that this game can be considered a tactical squad game and fortnite of all bloody things has more tacticalness than this game does i don't mind the fact that it's realistic and you have to load resources in a truck and then take it to the different um, locations, like all of the different locations. You have to actually take it there in a truck. Um, I don't mind that. You know, I don't mind the realisticness of the magazines where you, you shoot and your magazine gets gets closer to empty but if you reload then you don't actually reload your magazine you just take another magazine and pop it in and you keep that magazine that you just had with the little bit of bullets in it you keep that magazine i just think that's that's uh, that's fine you know that's fine i don't mind that realisticness but honestly like I said, by far the biggest issue with the game is the fact that you can't place markers and um, oh, the Russians win. I don't understand how they won because we constantly kept all of the places on the map. There was four, four places on the map and we constantly kept all of them. So I honestly don't understand how we did that. Uh, what's this? Okay, well, I didn't get any score, but... Uh, I, that's because I didn't do any kills. You can see this guy as well. Nine score. This guy, zero score. So I also got zero score because I was just standing in one location, but it was actually useful. Uh, there came a couple of tank, well, one tank, two APCs, one truck, and uh, infantry on foot came through my, my, my location, my, my point of interest i guess i can say and they did not capture it whereas they absolutely would have captured it if they went through there and they saw hey i can actually capture this place because there's nobody there so even though i stood still and i have zero zero points i still contributed to the uh to the thing uh, to the to the match 
Um, so yeah, guys, honestly, uh, $50, I, I don't think $50 is too much for a multiplayer battle royale, uh, squad based, team based, first person shooter, like, uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield, even though I have not bought a, uh, Battlefield or Call of Duty game in probably five years because they are honestly just recycling the same old shit that they've always recycled and I just got tired of it you know I'm not gonna pay uh, $60 $70 whatever repeatedly for the same old shit so I, I seriously don't mind paying $50 for it or a game like Battlefield or Call of Duty if it is innovative and all of that which battlefield and call of duty is no longer but paying 50 dollars for a game like that and not having the ability to place any tactical markers nothing on the map the names of the locations on the map aren't shown um it's just really the the game lacks so much tacticalness it's it's not even funny and then on top of that you are constantly team killing your teammates because you cannot see who the teammates are that's really ridiculous like that's that's really uh, egregious uh, with regards to game design you know i don't mind the realisticness and all of that that's fine uh, but it's going too far with the quote-unquote realisticness by not even showing you who your teammates are. That's going way too far. That's going over, over the line, honestly. I mean, it's a video game. It's not real life. It's a bloody video game. Like in uh, Escape from Tarkov, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, in that game you don't need to show teammate names because you don't have teammates in that game as soon as you see someone you can just shoot them you know escape from tarkov is a very re realistic first person shooter this game is also a very realistic uh, first person shooter but in this game you have teammates and you need to be able to see who your teammates are if you can't do that you're gonna shoot them and as you see multiple times, probably four times uh, in this video alone, there's people who say, sorry for team kill, sorry for team kill, sorry for team kill, because you are going to be shooting your own teammates. And I just don't understand the mind of a developer who knows that that is going to happen and just, just leaves it, you know, like what kind of a team based shooter uh do you shoot your teammates like that's that's the opposite of team a team game you know shooting your own teammates is the opposite of teamwork that's like anti-teamwork it, it just doesn't make sense so honestly um i would have recommended this game if you could place tactical markers and uh if uh you can actually show and mark places on your map like the squad leaders can do that would have been uh, one reason to recommend the game and the other one where i would have recommended the game is if you could actually see teammates which you can't so for those two reasons i cannot recommend the game like i don't mind the realisticness of the magazines and the and the shooting and the combat and all of that stuff that's fine i don't mind that you know the bullet drop and the range range aiming where you have to change your rectical 100 meters 200 meters 300 meters all of that realisticness i don't have any problem with it's just the tacticalness you you, you can't place any tactical markers and the fact that you can't see your teammates for those two reasons i definitely cannot recommend the game because you're going to be constantly uh, not being able to communicate with your team due to the fact that you can't place tactical markers and 
uh, you're gonna be constantly shooting your team uh, mates as well so yeah those are the, the two reasons why i definitely cannot recommend this game the game is fine and everything but those two reasons just push the meter for my recommendation way over into the other direction away from a uh, good way into the bad section because really you cannot play a game like this you're constantly going to be killing your teammates and you can't communicate with your teammates effectively due to the fact that you can't mark anything on the map or in the world or anything like that so uh yeah guys that's pretty much it as always it would be super appreciated if you could support me on nexus.gg forward slash lfp gaming any games that you buy on there uh, i get like five percent of the purchase price but the, the real cool thing is that the developers of the games get 30 percent more of your money so uh, not only do you support the developers of the game more because they get 30% more of your money uh, but you can also support me because I get 5% of the purchase price and you don't pay any, anything extra. Uh, this game squad is available on Nexus.gg so if you want to buy the game by all means you can buy squad on Nexus.gg, it costs $50. It also costs $50 on Steam. But like I said, if you buy it on Nexus.gg, it doesn't cost you anything extra. The developers of the game get 30% extra of your money. So uh, what's 30% of uh, $50? That's like um, 25, 20 it's around $17 I would say more or less $17 so literally by just going to nexus.gg forward slash LFP gaming and buying a game like squad that costs $50 you are giving the developers of the game 17 extra dollars that's literally what you're doing you're still paying $50 but the developers are getting 17 extra dollars into their bank account. So it's a really, really fantastic way to support the, uh, the developers. I get a couple of dollars as well from any purchases that you make on there. It's just simply a way of the developers thanking me as a content creator for allowing them to get more money. And um, you still get your Steam key so um that's a really a uh, fantastic way to support the channel and then in addition to that you can also uh, support me on patreon.com a uh, key for this game was provided by the developers free of charge for this review so thanks for them for uh, making this review possible otherwise to be honest i probably wouldn't have uh, bought this game it's not my type of a game i don't really play these types of games so um yeah so yeah guys that's pretty much it that is squad thanks a lot for uh watching guys and i will see you guys next time